Hey there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, dignity and self-respect. You know, when I started out in life, it wasn't so easy. I didn't have parents who could fund me and pay for my rent and give me money for food. I was, in fact, living in the back of a van, working day to day in flea markets, doing everything I could to hustle, earn a buck so that I could find and get an apartment. Eventually, it happened. And then once I got the apartment, I began to continue to work hard, got into the insurance business, and joined this incredible company. And I went from an apartment to a beautiful home, and on it went. And the lessons that I was learning along the way, at the time, I didn't realize that they were great lessons. Let me explain what I mean. No one gave me anything, and because of it, I worked and I earned everything that I got. But here's what I earned more than the money. I earned dignity and self-respect. Think about it. If I had a benefactor or somebody there to keep paying for my and keep paying for my bills, I could have become very lazy, laid back, and entitled, so to speak, and I would never be able to earn that dignity and self-respect. And I use those two words because when I think about our children, I'm talking to parents who have the wherewithal to pay for everything for your children. And what I have found is if I do that, I'm literally robbing them of the opportunity for dignity and self-respect by letting them work hard and not making it so, quote, easy for them to have everything and anything they want. So I kind of opted on the side of cover the basics and the essentials and let her earn the rest through her hard work. And that is what my daughter has done. I think of this for all of us, for those of us who are employers and often we want to give our people everything. And I think the biggest thing we can give them is our love, our support, but let them earn their way to their success. Like for instance, sometimes in my business, we'll force a promotion, we'll make it happen. Not because they earned it per se, but because we just feel like we want to help them out. I get it. There's a part of all of us inside that when we see somebody we care about struggling, we want to give them what they need. And the truth is we're robbing them of their own dignity and self-respect. And so this message goes out to all of us first who are leaders and parents and to those of us who are sitting around maybe waiting for someone else to take care of us. And that would be great for someone to pay all of our bills, but we might get the money, but we would never earn that dignity and self-respect. And those two things to me are priceless. And so that's the message today, gang. Don't look for handouts. Don't look for somebody else to bail you out. Don't look for someone to pay for things for you. Instead, look for the discipline that you need. Find a vision, a dream, a goal that you want to go after. Go after it. Sweat your ass off. Work around the clock to get it. And more important than what you get is going to be the self-respect that you get in the dignity because you can look in the mirror and say, job well done, and it feels good. I know you who are listening to this message know that this makes a whole lot of sense, but it's something I wanted to share because I think that a lot of our young people today, we make it too easy on them. I think we have to let them earn their dignity and self-respect the same way some of us who are, quote, self-made did it. That's it for today, gang. I hope you enjoyed this message. If you did, you know what to do. Share it. Look forward to seeing you, by the way, in tomorrow's broadcast. Have an awesome day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.